Hi, I'm Jenny Johnson, founder of Kids Aloud, and this is our February newsletter. We surveyed our Cheadle parents in December about the congestion specific to the Cheadle Royal Business Park. Um, having a look at the feedback, it's clear that if we extended our opening hours just a little bit, that that would be a big help. Um, now, actually, we already offer extended opening hours from half past seven till half past six, but I think the pricing of that is maybe a little bit prohibitive. So in the next few weeks, we'll be announcing a change in price that will allow our parents to much easier access that additional um, drop-off and collection time if they need it. So thanks for everyone that took time to fill that in. That was really really useful and I hope our answer is really going to help you. Um, Dr Bernstein this week has delivered a parent workshop about food intolerances. We'll be getting in touch with everybody that attended just to find out what you thought about it and we're hoping you've found it really informative and useful because if you have it's something we intend to do more of, get experts in their fields to come and talk to our parents because we know it's something that you really value. Um, along those lines actually paediatric first aid is something that we know parents are really keen to understand more about and be better informed if they were ever in an emergency situation. Um, as you know virtually all team members at Kids Allowed are um, paediatric first aid trained with a two day qualification but we appreciate most parents can't invest two days in getting themselves qualified. So we're running regular workshops and those workshops now are actually running every single month on a rolling program at all our centres. Now. When we first launched um, 80 free places, they literally all went within two hours and there were many disappointed customers. So rather than offering it free of charge going forward, we have put a nominal charge, which just allows us to run them very, very regularly. I think it's £13.50, it's a 90 minute parent workshop and it really is you know, life-saving skills that we all hope we'll never need to use. So watch this space for those. And then finally, we talked previously about um, the fact that we're gonna be giving you monthly um, learning summaries of the skills that your little ones are learning while they're with us and um, those are now embedded and in place and you should all have received those and one of the things we're implementing just to make it nice and easy for you to get hold of them are they look like little washing lines outside of each of your children's rooms and when there's an update for you we'll put one on there and you can just pop it down and bring it home so everything's going really well we're keeping on listening to what you have to say and responding to the things that you want us to change <music> Just a few little bits and pieces to keep you in the loop. Um, if you're a Stockport parent, you'll be pleased to know that we've opened um, our third Waddler room this month. Um, it's going really, really well there. We've also had our Ofsted inspection and we're not allowed to formally announce our um, inspection result until we get the report, but we're really, really happy with it and we cannot wait to show it off. Um, Macclesfield parents were opening up your second toddler room and that's happening the first week of uh, March so things continue to go really really well um, at Macclesfield as well. In fact all our centres are having unprecedented um, demand for places which is great I think it's telling that the team are doing a really fantastic job and you as parents are spreading the word about kids aloud so thank you for that. The only centre that slightly is worrying me at the moment just purely from an occupancy point of view for existing parents is our Christie Fields Centre a lovely problem to have but we've virtually got no places now um, unless you are willing to wait till November December of this year so please if you're if you've got a sibling that you're going to want to start at Kids Aloud you do take priority but once we're full we're full so please don't leave it too late the sooner that you put your name down the sooner we can confirm whether we can get you a place and you know we're not saying there's no availability but what we're just saying is it's very very restricted and we want to be able to meet your childcare needs um, some great news about apprenticeships. Um, many of you will know that I left school at 16 and I'm very, very passionate about opportunities for young people. And we've created some high quality apprenticeships at Kids Aloud and they're going really well. Many of our apprenticeships, um, or apprentices, sorry, are now qualified. Um, we're actually extending the programme now to cover um, roles within the kitchen. So there's the um, professional cookery apprenticeship um, now available at some of our, our sites and also business and administration apprenticeships for um, people supporting the reception desk team so we continue to engage with the apprenticeship program something I'm passionate about and if you know young people wanting to get on the career ladder then please point them in our direction um, 
The party room, um, all of our centres have a fabulous party room um, and some of you may not know but as a kids allowed parent you can book that party room for just £15 an hour. Minimum of three hours so £45 but for that you get the room, you get the garden, um, baby change facilities, toilets, um, free tea and coffee, wonderful reception area to relax in and at the end of the day it means we do the cleaning up after the party so just bear that in mind it's a fabulous resource at all of our centres and some of you will hopefully know as well that we have a soft play centre at Knutsford which is perfect for one, two, three and four year olds and you get exclusive use of that for your children's birthday party. So bear that in mind as well as a fabulous location. Um, and then finally, just a quick note about um, our dry cleaning, um, which hasn't gone up since we've opened, I don't think. Um, but the dry cleaning company have had to pass on some additional costs to us. We've passed them on to you, but purely at cost. We don't look to make money on these things. So we hope that you continue to engage and support the dry cleaning. It's a local family company. They do a fabulous job and um, a small price increase, but we'll be passing that on to you. Do you know, we have so much fabulous stuff going on for our parents now and for our additional things for the children that we've found it quite challenging to manage all of our new um, events. So we've actually set up an Eventbrite page. It's a wonderful piece of software that helps us manage all of our wonderful events. So all you need to do now is just make that one of your favourites, keep popping on, and you'll see that there's some fabulous events, including um, a new Maths Fun course, um, the first day that we've already talked about, and we're even putting things like booking Forest School onto this page so that parents can literally in their own time log on and book a place on these really exciting courses that we have to offer. One small final favour we'd like to ask of the parents. Um, as you know, the centre opens for its core hours from eight o'clock. And I know many of you get there early and will be waiting at reception to go through. We just need to make sure that we don't open the doors until eight o'clock. And it's not that we're being pedantic, it's just that the team are in the rooms, getting the environment set up to be really welcoming for your children. And they just need those extra few minutes to make sure that it's perfect and ready for the day. So from now on, we'll be opening the doors at eight o'clock.